Hello everybody. I am text to speech bot David, filling in for Brian Mullins the Fox. And welcome to another research commentary video. And no, this is not a numbers by the year video. Let's get into the statistics and statistical analysis of how impactful Christmas dinner was and still is today, in the 21st century. Here is the average price of a Christmas dinner in the UK from 1981, 2000, and 15. According to Statista. 1981, 40 pounds and 7 pence. 1983, 37 pounds and 49 pence. 1985, 37 pounds and 32 pence. 1987, 36 pounds and 42 pence. 1989, 37 pounds and 36 pence. 1991, 36 pounds and 18 pence. 1993, 33 pounds and 63 pence. 1995, 33 pounds and 93 pence. 1997, 35 pounds and 83 pence. 1999, 33 pounds and 95 pence. 2001, 35 pounds and 68 pence. 2003, 33 pounds and 59 pence. 2005, 37 pounds and 38 pence. 2007, 37 pounds and 85 pence. 2009, 37 pounds and 78 pence. 2011, 37 pounds and 79 pence. 2013, 38 pounds and 74 pence. 2015, 37 pounds and 77 pence. And of course, all these prices are adjusted for inflation. Thank you to all those who provided the time in their lives to actually care about the big little things. Let's introduce the equation and make some clarifications along the way, to calculate all aspects into this. Some websites say that roughly 10 million turkeys are consumed for Christmas in the UK on average. Some websites mention averages, and that's what I will do in this video as well. So from 1981, 2000, and 2, we'll just go with the averages of roughly 10 million turkeys being consumed annually and 2 million of which are wasted on average. All of this because there is a lack of data for a myriad of reasons that cannot all just revert back to a singular phenomenon, problem, or culture shock. Just like culture shock was the reason Christmas dinner statistics like prices and otherwise didn't exist during the roast game era in both America and Canada. According to another statistic graphic, here the approximate amount of turkeys that were consumed, also accounting for 2 million wasted ones on average. Meaning that I'm having to multiply the amount of turkeys produced in the UK each year, by 0.575, or reduce it by 57.5%, then subtract by 2 million, then I'll get my answer. And here are the 18 answers to one question, one answer for each represented year, in millions of turkeys. 2003, 10,477,500. 2004, 10,305,000 2005, 9,040,000 2006, 8,292,500 2007, 6,970,000 2008, 7,142,500 six million nine hundred and twelve thousand five hundred two thousand and ten six million nine hundred and seventy thousand two thousand and eleven seven million seven hundred and seventeen thousand five hundred two thousand and twelve eight million five hundred and eighty thousand 
2013, 8,062,500 2014, 6,855,000 2015, 7,775,000 2016, 6 million nine hundred and seventy thousand two thousand and seventeen six million two hundred and twenty two thousand five hundred two thousand and eighteen six million five hundred and ten thousand two thousand and nineteen six million two hundred and eighty thousand twenty twenty six million five hundred and sixty seven thousand five hundred 2021, 4,497,500 So far between 2003 and 2021, it went from over 10 million, all the way down to just under 4.5 million. There are a lot of other effects than just food waste though. Including the COVID-19 pandemic, the roast game as it reflects upon the world stage, financial woes, and the Great Recession. There is no data for the amount of hams consumed or wasted, but even if there were, they are on par with the consumption and waste with turkey. That's why the avian flu has a huge say on whether or not I can predict or know how many turkeys will be consumed for Christmas in the United Kingdom. The avian flu started around February of this year, and has a gigantic effect on America, Canada, and I'm sure as shit that it also hits Europe particularly hard as well. 2022, 5,750,000 turkeys, which is up by 1,252,500 turkeys, from 2021's 4,497,500 of them. Not to be off topic for too long, but because of the staggering effect that the avian flu has on many countries around the world, especially when it came to turkeys, millions were called to stop the spread of the virus. And my opinion on that is while that may be very helpful to prevent people from getting these birds with the avian flu and from getting sick themselves from the damn birds that may infect them enough in the long run, it's also pretty fucking shitty to not be able to have a treatment let alone a cure that would reduce or completely nullify the need or reason to call these birds to begin with in the future. The funny thing is, we've called birds long before the first ever virus has ever caused, even the faintest kink to the supply chain. We usually do it because it creates and provides way more space for more productive birds, be it a turkey, chicken, or goose. And I'm sure, to nobody's surprise, that it won't completely wipe out all the birds that we consume in this world, there have been many before the avian flu of 22. And whether or not we do find a treatment or even cure for avian 22, we'll still be calling the unproductive pieces of farmer but fucking shits for any justifiable reason. At any time of day, week, month, or even year as long as the lights are still on. And with that, I dearly feel sorry for them. Now, let's continue with the average price of a Christmas dinner for 2016, 2021 in the United Kingdom. 2016, 31 pounds and 64 pence. 2017, 33 pounds and 50 pence. 2018, 33 pounds and 43 pence. 2019, 31 pounds and 56 pence. 2020, 26 pounds and 59 pence. 2021, 27 pounds and 48 pence, 89 pence higher than in 2020. 2022, 31 pounds. Before I sign out and end the video, let us recap and give my two cents on this video. We've learned the average price for a Christmas dinner in the UK from 1981 to 2022, which is this year. B. We've learned how many turkeys were consumed, wasted, and how much is to be wasted and consumed this year. C. 
We learned just how much impact that Avian 22 has all around the world when it comes to birds like turkeys, chickens, and geese. D. We finished analyzing the average price of a Christmas dinner in the UK, from 2016 to the current year, 2022. E. I am signing out, see you all in the next commentary video that I may cook up, goodbye.